Mr. Chairman. This is Teresa. Staff is ready to begin when you are. All right. Thank you, Teresa. We'd like to welcome everyone to the Town of Hilton Head Islands Planning Commission meeting of April 7th, 2021. Are we in compliance with FOIA, Teresa? Yes, sir, we are. Thank you. Would you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Mr. Perry? Here. Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Stevens? Here. Ms. McGowan? Here. Mr. Scanlon? Here. Mr. Alfred? Here. Mr. Theodore? Here. Mr. Christian? Here. And Mr. O'Neill is excused. And we would like to welcome any members of the visiting public and also uh, Council Member Glenn Stanford is also on the call. Does staff have any changes to the agenda? No, sir. And can I have a motion from one of the commissioners to approve the agenda? Motion to approve. Uh, Second. Alan, I had Michael's hand go up. So Alan moved, Mike seconded. Teresa, would you please call the roll? Mr. Perry? Approve. Mr. Campbell? Approve. Mr. Stevens? Approve. Ms. McGowan? Approve. Mr. Scanlon? Approve. Mr. Alfred? Approve. Mr. Theodore? Approve. Mr. Christian? Approve. And we have the approval of our March 24th, 2021. <clears throat> Minutes, can I have a, a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Stephen, move. Second. All right, Alan, second. Um, in the interest of time, all those in favor, aye. 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 Anyone aye. object? Any abstentions? All right. I was we... absent. All right. Noted, Leslie, you were absent. You have that for the record, Teresa? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appearance by citizens. Teresa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Public comments concerning agenda items were to be submitted electronically via the Open Town Hall portal. There were no comments submitted on the portal. Citizens were also provided the option to give public comment during the meeting by phone. However, there were no requests to give public comment by phone. Thank you, Teresa. Um, we have no new business. Um, we're mo well, moving on to new business. I'm sorry, no unfinished business. Under new business, we have a public hearing on PPR 00344-2021, an application for a public <laughs> project review from Buford County to build a passive park at the Ford Shell Ring Preserve. The project includes creation of an improved entrance off of Squire Pope Road, a gravel parking area of, for approximately five vehicles, a six to eight foot wide earthen pedestrian loop trail, entry and interpretive signage, and retaining an existing emergency and maintenance access from Fuller Point Drive. The 6.85 acre property is located at 273 Squire Pope Road, parcel ID R511-003-000-2021. And Jamie Lapko. Jamie, you're on the line. Go yes, sir. Presentation to us. All right, good morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and pull up the PowerPoint. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. There we go. Everybody see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to start off. We'll go over um, the public project review and the location of the project, give you some background, the existing conditions of the property, what improvements are proposed, and look at um, consistency with the comprehensive plan. So the public project reviews are reviewed by planning commission to consider whether um, the location, character, and extent of the proposed projects are consistent with the um, town's comprehensive plan. And just as a reminder, the public project reviews, the only decision on these are made by the planning commission. So that is the final decision today. 
Location of the project is on Square Pope Road. Um, you would pass right by it driving there, probably not know it's there. A lot of people don't know it's there. Um, it's uh, down past Green Shell. It's next to Fuller Point, just before you get to the Circle at Gumtree and Squire Pope. Um, background, as uh, the chairman said, it's 6.85 acre property. The town and county purchased this jointly in 2003 um, for a couple of reasons. One, to preserve it as some open space, but also it's historically significant. Uh, and the county has identified funding for the design and development of this project um, to move forward. And also um, there will be a joint operating and ownership agreement that the town and county will sign um, and execute once um, plans move forward. And town council has authorized the town manager to execute that document. So the existing condition is a heavily treed area. Um, the trail does exist now that goes around uh, in a loop around the shell ring. Um, however, during Hurricane Matthew, several trees fell. And so um, the trail is currently blocked. Um, so it will have to be uh, cleared out as part of this project. So the proposed improvements, um, you'll see the, the area in yellow. Right now there isn't access off Squire Pope Road, but it is narrow. So that will be widened to accommodate two-way traffic and improve the drainage. And then we'll put in approximately five gravel parking spaces um, that will be blocked off by uh, probably some split rail fencing so um, cars can't get beyond the gravel, the gravel parking area. The green area is the approximate area of the existing loop that's there. Um, it will be widened to six to eight feet. And then you can see the bluish uh, circle is where kind of where the shell ring is now. And then you have the two purple stars that will identify where we have some interpretive signage. And the red line is where um, we currently have an, um, a dirt trail there that is for emergency access and maintenance access for the town that, that goes into Fuller Point. So with regard to the comprehensive plan, if we look at the location, um, both the environmental and regional core values um, from the, our plan support this project. Um, we're creating a passive park that's going to have a historical resource that we're preserving. Uh, we will create some viewing corridors um, from the area to Skull Creek. It's going to create a town and county partnership on this property, and it will provide for cultural education um, with regard to the um, Ford Shell Ring property and the history of the property. For the character of the property, supported by our excellence, inclusive, and connective core values. Um, we will be making a property accessible and inviting that's currently not really accessible to the public. It is chained off and um, only limited access is, is provided there. Um, it will preserve and enhance the island character and, and um, showcase the unique sense of place that we have with the history of this island and also capitalize on the natural beauty by preserving uh, most of the property for open space as well as um, the waterfront um, view from there. With the extent of the, the project, we have the excellence connected and environmental core values that support it. Um, again, we will have a historic resource that is going to be promoted and increase the knowledge of the history of the island. And then we also have enhancement of the open space, our view corridors, and our use of pervious materials. The, the trail will remain a dirt earthen path, and then we are using um, gravel for the entrance and the parking area. Continuing with the extent, it's uh, supported by the uh, economy and inclusive core values, as well as our park and recreation master plan. Um, it's gonna provide an opportunity for heritage tourism and educational programs because we'll have the interpretive uh, signage out there um, to educate people, but we'll also be developing a partnership with the Archaeological Society on the island, and um, they will be running programs there. They will do litter pickup, they'll provide educational programs and monitor the area um, in partnership with the, the town and the county. Uh, we will be preserving this as a natural asset and uh, providing a better understanding of the island's history. Um, to know that, that, that this 4,000 year old show ring um, exists and that the history goes back that far. So we have a, a lot of history there that um, I think can be showcased. <clears throat> and so just circling back, the Planning Commission is going to look at this for location, character, and extent and make a recommendation as to whether it is or is not consistent with the town's comprehensive plan. Okay, there we go. I'll be happy to answer any questions and Stephanie from the county is available as well if we have questions for her. Stephanie, do you want to add any comments? 
And Stephanie, do you have anything you'd like to add before we uh, open it to the commissioners for questions? Yes, I'd like to say thank you for the consideration. Um, I really think this project is um, greatly beneficial to not only the county, but also to the to Hilton Head Island. Uh, the history is amazing. Everything that I've learned in the last three years about this property and and the indigenous peoples that utilized it um, is just really fascinating and I think is going to provide um, a great opportunity for the public to really learn and engage in that history. Um, I did want to add uh, if, that I do have funding to implement the planning and construction, um, as Jamie mentioned, and my intent is to have a zero impact regarding site disturbance. Um, so I am prepared to, upon approval, uh, work with an engineering firm to so that we dig no holes, we have no disturbance on the site, um, there are ways to do that, and I know that um, from some public input I've received, um, you know, that is a, a high priority, and we certainly don't want to disturb any of the cultural resources that are there. So um, uh, it's going to be a challenge for the engineers, but I think it's a, a, a accomplishable challenge. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this open to the public. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, Teresa, why don't we go through um, our discussion order and ask each of the commissioners if they have a, a question or a comment? Certainly. <laughs> Mr. Theodore? Um, thank you for the uh, presentation. The, um, will this, uh, Jamie, you had mentioned, who, who will uh, sort of manage this park? Um, the town will manage it day to day, opening, closing of the park, general maintenance of it. But if there's any capital needs, then the county will step in. Okay. Um, and is there any consideration for access to the marsh edge? Um, the council, when, when, when it went to council for the joint operating agreement, there was um, general desire to have that. It's not going to happen in this first phase, but it is something that we desire to look into for, for our future. Okay. And um, any consideration for, you know, I guess I guess we'd wait and see the, you know, how much activity that it receives, uh, uh, far, five parking spaces, if there ends up being six or seven cars in there, uh, in consideration for what would happen? Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're going to plan small, and if, they, if we see a need that there's more use available, then we'll, we'll circle back with the county to see if there's availability of funding to increase that parking. Okay. And then will this um, show up, like, on the uh, town's uh, maps and stuff of where the different parks and things are? Yes, we will update the, the town's parks and recreation maps to include that this is available park. Okay. Uh, that's all my questions. I think it's a great addition. It'll be fun to... Uh, see that happen. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, if I could jump in before moving forward, while there might not be anything constructed at the marsh edge at this time, in this initial phase at a, at a minimum, there will be view corridors that need to be opened because that was not just a, a passing comment by town council, but something that they are adamant be included in this initial part. So it might not be construction at this point, but there will be a connection, at least visually, to the water included in any initial initial project. So what you're saying, Jennifer, there'll, there'll be some selective pruning to open up some view vistas um, from, the, from the trail that's being planned? Correct. Consistent with what we do at other parks and with the LMO, um, we are have permission to create those view sheds that we've done at other um, park projects so that people that are there at the shell ring can also um, get that view of the water and realize the proximity and the connection because it is so strong at that site. Understood. And, and I'm jumping out of turn here, <laughs> but uh, would there be any future plans to make a connection um, to, to, the, to the water um, from, from that walking path? I believe that's the desire of town council, but that's something that we would have to work closer with Stephanie and the county on as to what actually might get built. That's why Jamie's right. In phase one, 
there wouldn't be anything constructed necessarily, but there would at least be that first visual connection to the water and then we can contemplate more permanent connection in the future. Thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome. All right, Teresa, please continue. Mr. Perry. Well, I, I think it's a it's a win win win. You know, we can uh, protect property and utilize it in a passive way that that um, exemplifies a long standing history that we have on our island. And then, of course, having a partnership with the county, um, I think that is also a win win when we have a positive experience there. So, I'm all in favor. Thank you, Alan. Mr. Alfred. Uh, I was very pleased to see uh, such a uh, cooperative effort with the county going uh, forward. Uh, I think that's great and uh, it sounds like an excellent plan. Thank you. Mr. Campbell. Yeah, I just got one question. Will there be any gates here for operating hours, especially on the emergency um, access? Yes, the emergency access will be gated and only uh, town and county personnel will have access to that. The main entrance will be gated as well, similar to other parks with the town, and it will be opened and closed at dawn and dusk. Okay, my next question is this. I know um, the property next door on the right, it kind of borders the um, park. Now, is there anything prevent people just wandering over there or how will that, what will y'all do for that? Or talk to Tom or something, put a fence or? Um, they are connected, yes, but um, if you walk through there, there's actually a bit of a drainage ditch there. So okay. you could walk through there, but there's probably going to be some water and, and uh, things there that would uh, make it less desirable. All right, and is there any plans for restrooms in the future? Not at this point. Okay, all right, that's all I have. Mr. Scanlon? I have no question or comment at this time. Ms. McGowan? Um, all of my questions have been answered. It sounds like a great project. Mr. Stevens? Uh, yeah, most of my questions have been answered too. Thank you, Jamie, for that presentation. And I just wanted to follow up uh, with the definition of a passive park. So there would not be uh allowed any activities as far as people having like picnics or bringing any what what is can you clear up what passive exactly means for me um it doesn't mean you can't have a picnic it's more that you're not going to have any sports or active type recreation going on um there's not going to be a whole lot of areas we're not going to have a picnic shelter or picnic benches things like that i mean it's basically just a parking area and a trail um so there won't be a lot of areas for somebody to have a picnic but if they wanted to come out and sit on their car and, and have a picnic there absolutely they could we're not going to prevent that but it just wouldn't have anything that we would actively do um there's no sport fields there's um no organized activities that would go on at this park other than possibly a historic tour sir i can i can clarify that the county actually has a definition of passive recreation uh, in county code, and it does um, state that it is recreation um, based on the enjoyment of the natural resources. Um, and it lists some very specific items like hiking, uh, general nature studies, like bird watching, other things like that. So it's um, restrictive, like Jamie said, to those non active, like baseball, soccer, you know, type things. Oh, okay, thank you. So uh, <clears throat> I can't set my band up out there and play music. <laughs> <laughs> my that other... would be appreciated I'm, by the neighbors, <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Trying to find work, man. Uh, the other question I have very quickly was the full point access. So that would be for the emergency and maintenance now, is that coming directly through the Fuller uh, Point property? How, how does that access work? Yeah, the access is currently existing, um, and it's there's just a little stub out from the circle and, and, and the Fuller Point that exists, and there there's an access there that is currently existed. I'm not sure of the history of how it got put there, but we do desire to maintain that um, to give a secondary access for maintenance and emergency access if needed. So uh, did that coming between Fuller Point and this? property or is it coming through Fuller Point? No, no, it just connects at the property line. 
Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it looks like a great project. Glad to see some development on the north end of the island. Good project. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Uh, I mean, uh, many of my questions have been answered as as well. <laughs> it looks like a, a, a wonderful partnership between the town uh, and Buford County. Um, Stephanie, can you comment on a timetable if this is approved? Yes, I certainly can. Um, so if approved this morning, then I'm going to provide the notice to proceed to the engineer that we've hired under our small contracts um, uh, list um, to get them started. Um, so they'll end up, surveys will be done and tree and topo surveys will be done, um, get some baseline information. We can start coordinating with Jamie to meet, to discuss you know, the town's concerns, the county's concerns, and, and create a plan. Um, I'd like to have a plan finished by summer um, that we can set out to bid in the fall, and I'm looking up at my calendar right now. Um, so hopefully by the end of this calendar year, we'll have a contractor uh, under contract to um, to begin. And then I'm I'm looking at this not taking more than six months tops. Um, just because the only real construction is the the biggest and most difficult hurdle is going to be the the replacement of the culvert. Um, so really, it's just the construction of the entrance, and then the um, the earth and path we can have cleared with with staff. I can have our public work staff come out and help me on it for a day to hand clear the earth and trail, um, which I've done at other passive properties, and and that's worked quite well. Um, so, you know, maybe this time next year, have open to the public. So, so obviously there's funding, Stephanie, for both this fiscal year and, and next fiscal year with the county. Yes, the funding that I have available is in uh, the Rural and Critical Passive Parks account. And so that is funding that gets rolled over every year. Um, so the funding that was approved last year for this project continues to roll until I, until I complete it. Um, depending on what the engineer's estimate cost is, I may be applying for A or H tax funding um, coming up at the end of the year. Uh, it just depends on how much um, I might be short. Okay, and you know, from Jamie's comments and yours, it looks like we're just dealing with, with signage. There aren't, any, aren't going to be any benches or picnic tables or uh, any of those types of amenities uh, uh, located in this park for the present? Uh, right now, no picnic tables. I definitely foresee um, uh, probably a concrete and wood bench like I have in some other passive properties. Um, so that way it's not, you can't pick it up and like throw it in the water or something. <laughs> um, but have that at that view corridor that Ms. Ray discussed. There is an existing trail that goes right up to the edge of the property. Um, and there is a, a really nice spot under a live oak. It just needs some brush trimmed up a little bit. And we could put a bench there so people could sit and look at the water. Um, so we do have that ability, but um, probably not. It, the, the property is relatively small, so probably not too many benches. Maybe one additional one over by the, um, by the uh, ring itself. But other than that, they they're very heavy and they just sit on top of the ground. They don't have to be like anchored in or, or have a footer in the ground. Under, understood, very familiar with it. And just looking for, it sounds like LaVon, that oak tree is a perfect spot for you to set up your band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let us all know when you're playing, we'll all come and listen. <laughs> I, I will do that, I'll be charging admission. <laughs> I don't think they're going to allow that, LaVon, but you can try. <laughs> okay. Um, this is uh, one of the commission's rare um, duties where we get to have the final word. This does not go to town council. Um, is that correct, Jamie? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, so our, our approval is the final approval or our rejection is the final rejection. Um, I don't believe we need a second round from the comments, so I will ask from among the commissioners, is there a motion to approve this project as presented? Yes. 
Can I ask a question, Peter? Certainly, Stephen. Ms. Todd. I'm, I'm sorry. I saw St Stephen's hand go up. Go ahead. Um, I forgot to ask, uh, Jamie, will this park be connected to the trail system that runs along the road there, you know, so it'll be easily accessible from a pedestrian perspective? We haven't considered that at this point because um, the trail is on the opposite side of the road. We would have to look to see if there would be safety in putting a crosswalk there. But I can I can definitely talk to Darren Shoemaker and see if that's something we wanted to consider and have to work probably with, I think it's probably a state road, we'd have to work with DOT to see if that's an option. Okay. I mean, it seems like that would be worth considering because one way or another, somebody's going to cross the road from the, from the pathway there to get to the park. So. Um, as a passive use park, it seems to make sense to encourage non-vehicular access, um, you know, versus, you know, loading up the parking lot. That, that was my only question. Thank you. Okay. Can we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Okay. Alan and Stephen. All right. Teresa, would you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Mr. Perry? Approve. Mr. Campbell? Approve. Mr. Steven? Approve. Ms. McGowan? Approve. Mr. Scanlon? Approve. Mr. Alfred? Approve. Mr. Theodore? Approve. Mr. Christian? Approve. Unanimous from those in attendance. Very well done. And Stephanie and Jamie, good luck with it. We look forward to seeing a park next year. Thank you very much. Okay, commission business. I have none at this time. <clears throat> no report at this time. Todd, anything on the CIP? I know that is has that that gone to town council. I, I know we've we we have seen it um, and and recommended to town council. Maybe uh, Ann can comment on um, where that is in the process. I'll be happy to take that one, Mr. Christian. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um, it will go to town council as part of their um, budget review that starts in May. Um, town manager has been reviewing the budget with individual council members, and so they've seen um, that in there, but they won't take action on it until the May-June timeframe. Thank you for that, Jennifer. Todd, do you have anything else from CIP? No, I, I mean, I'd definitely like to thank Sean and uh, Jeff uh, for all their help, especially with the uh, the loss of um, Scott. Um, they did a great job of uh, picking that up. Um, could be, you know, very complicated, a lot of information. And, uh, and, and thank the committee members for their help with the uh, 22, uh, 2022 priority projects and um, and from what I understand, later this spring, uh, the group will get back together again and start looking at a long-term priority projects for a five to 10 year uh, window. Excellent, thank you for that, Todd. Michael, I know that you have not been active lately. Anything on comp plan? Oh, well, as I say, our work is done. Thank you. Um, LaVon, anything on Gullah Geechee? I know that you had a meeting recently. Uh, yeah, and I might ask Jennifer to, uh, to help me if she's still on the line. We did have a Gullah uh, Geechee Task Force meeting on Monday, and we had some items I think that were going to be discussed on Tuesday at the, uh, was it Public Planning Committee or the Town Council? It was um, Town Council. So last night at Town Council, they heard first reading of the family compound and family subdivision. They had some questions and asked for some additional information from staff, but passed it on first reading. And so it will come back to planning commission later in April at your next meeting, because as you know, per state code, if there's a change from what y'all recommended, it comes back. So we will be bringing that forward to you and then it'll go back to town council for second reading in early May. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Anything else, Lamarne? <laughs> Uh, that's all I have. That's the biggest news we have right now. All right. Thank you, LaVarne. Um, Leslie, I know that your committee is teed up to meet again um, next week. Yes. Um, yeah, we, are, we had agendized um, reviewing comments from the Design Review Board, but they had not fully um, endorsed the comments, but now they have. 
So we have scheduled a meeting for next Tuesday at 930, which is kind of a different, it's a, a different day and different time for us, but just put it out there, Tuesday at 930, for April well, 13th. We'll look forward to your findings. And Alan, anything on rules and procedures? Nothing, <clears throat> nothing okay. to report. Thank you. Okay, and you have a quarterly report for us? Yes, sir, uh, you should have a quarterly report in your packets. If you have any questions, please uh, give me a call and we can discuss. Um, you do have two uh, agenda items for the next two meetings. Uh, your next meeting on the 21st, there is a zoning map amendment in Sea Pines. Uh, and as uh, Jennifer mentioned, there'll be an update on the, um, the family compound and subdivisions. And then on May 5th, yeah, we have a street name application so far. Thank you, Ann. Any questions for Ann from among the commissioners? Okay, thank you. Any other business to come before the commission? I'll, Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. Removed. Leslie, Michael, thank you. Thank you all for your hard work and continued hard work. Take care, everybody. <laughs>